the objective has always been to disrupt conventional manufacturing. You know, prototyping is, it's, uh, it was the first real big application and uh, it's obviously incredibly valuable. Um, but ultimately the long-term goal of these revolutionary technologies is to enable something beyond rapid prototyping and to enable manufacturing. We're leading our charge in additive manufacturing with stereolithography because we've honed this technology over 30 years to manufacture many products even today, but we're going to be doing it at a bigger scale with the same accuracy, surface finish that we've provided all those years. This kind of printer is really ideal then as a material development delivery tool. Uh, kind of a key is that the amount of material that it takes is very small. So we aren't bound with the usual requirement of stereolithography where the material has to be very stable for a year or two years or three years. With this additive manufacturing development kit and the speed of figure four, you can now get physical properties that include high temperature, toughness, elastomerics, biocompatibility, which is all the foundation of all the products that are manufactured today. And the technology is so fast that you can pull geometry, you could pull 100 milliliters from a 250 milliliter vat so rapidly that you can now tolerate extremely unstable chemistries, chemistries that we would never consider using in the past. So this frees the chemists then to do a more reactive kind of chemistry uh, where they aren't so concerned about you know, having a vat life of uh, years, they can have a vat life of, of, of a couple of days or even a few hours. Uh, and this lets us formulate and develop uh, a much wider range of materials. This class of technology, there's no injection molding tool, right? Your injection molding tool is a USB key. Your tooling is the CAD file. You walk up to a machine, plug the USB key in, you press play, and you're getting parts manufactured locally this system is, is exciting in the sense that it's not a box, it's not you know, a rapid prototyping system that you install. It's, it's a system that uh, is configurable. Uh, you can put, you know, pick and choose the parts that you want, not just the parts that we supply, but other automation tools and, and have it fit into the workflow and, and stream of your factory. We've already shown this added to manufacturing SDK to some of our key customers and their reaction has been this is a step change and it will allow them to unleash additive manufacturing across their organization. Well after 30 years of uh, uh, bringing this, uh, uh, this kind of technology up, up through prototyping and through various kinds of uh, manufacturing applications it feels really good now to see it starting to go toward mainstream manufacturing.